and welcome back for another video uh, the video today is on the ICOM 7100 um, I've had this radio since 2012 and that's the year that this uh, radio came out but uh, it's an old radio but ICOM still make this radio today um, it's still in production I'm presuming they'll, they will update it at some stage uh, it, uh, they'll probably have it like a 705 screen on it a coloured screen but uh, yeah, what a cracking piece of kit this is. Um, you can use it for base station, obviously mobile. Uh, one of my pals has this uh, mobile in his car. Uh, what a great little setup. Um, it's two, uh, 70 centimeters and two meters, four meters on all the HF bands. So, uh, uh, like I said, a cracking piece of kick. Um, it, it does all the modes. Um, Upper sideband, lower sideband, AM, FM, and obviously D star. I think it's 30 watts on AM if memory serves, and uh, on 2 meters and 70 centimeters on FM, it's 50 watts and 100 watts on, uh, 100 watts on HF, and I think it's 50 watts on uh, 4 meters as well. But anyway, let's have a quick nosy. Uh, just zoom in a little bit. I, I usually get bugger this up. But so, yeah, right, the button at the top here is uh, your volume control, uh, your squelch, and also your RF gain. And when you go back down to the, the next set of buttons, uh, these are just the hard buttons I'm showing you. You've got your memory channels and uh, your memory banks. Uh, but the multifunctional, uh, but I'll tell you these as, as I'm going through. Then you've got um, your clarifier. You go down to the bottom uh, that's your tune and call button you've got your menu button your mic and RF power and like I said the multifunctional uh, this this uh, switch here uh, for instance uh, you can do your mic gain on all your RF power so RF power mess with that I've got no mic gain on because I'm using this for uh, FT8 anyhow we'll go along uh, you've got speed and pitch you've got your noise blanket at the top then you've got your attenuator and preamp and then your noise reduction at the top then your notch filter and then your d-star button you press this and you can get onto d-star uh, for instance calling secure etc uh, for different areas i don't use i used to use this used to be my main uh, radio for d-star but uh, i've got a different um, layout now i've got uh, a 9700 and then you've got your set button and your quick memories and we go across we've got the auto tune you've got your speech button and lock then your acf button and your, your memory pad button but if we go back to memory menu sorry uh you've got different mem menus and if if you uh if you've got icon radios it's very easy to uh, um understand that they're all virtually the same but this is touch screen, so uh, you've got your scan, your skip, your voice, your CS button, uh, CD button, you press in memory again, uh, so on and so forth. You've got your vox, blah, 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 uh, your DTMF tones, your scan and your voice again. So let's just get out of that. And then you've got your quick memories. Let's just go to quick memories. And all you do is touch screen, so you could. GPS it's got functions for GPS it don't come with GPS it's an add-on kit you put on the back but uh, yeah you can it, it, it's very easy your meter type uh, you can put your your watch on that's I think that's for for weather stations more probably more stuff on um, uh, in America but uh, yeah let's just go down a bit you display your DPS uh, you record stop and start Right, let's get out of that moment. Uh, go back to menu. Let's see how to get out of this now. Uh, DVR album. Go back to frequency. Um, and like your memory pad, so it's easy. Um, it, it, it's it's an easy machine. Well, if you if you if you've got an ICOM, you know how to use this. Uh, and like I said, it was one of the first radios to be a touchscreen, so you can change your uh, mode that you're using. 
uh, in fact I'll put that back on data because uh, I use this like I said I use this for FT8 um, you can change your filters um, everything can be changed on this little screen um, right, if you go into DV mode again uh, let's have a look here that's the car in secure scan so you can scan let's we'll start the scan you can scan uh, your local repeaters and it'll stop obviously when someone's on you've got skip voice CS and CD let's just uh, quit that again so everything's multifunctional it's it's a fantastic piece of kit this um, I think this is the actual best radio I've got and I've got other radios here that are more expensive but it's it's the usability of it. Like I said, you can throw it in a car. You you've got the speaker on the back of the radio, and you you've got the mic on the back of the radio. So you haven't got leads flying all over the show. You can put a speaker in the back of the radio. Um, it's just an easy piece of kit, if, especially if you're going mobile. You put the unit in the boots, wire it up, put this particular lead all the way to the front of the car, and that's it. You're done. Everything plugs into this uh, particular unit, um, and obviously the base station. Um, I've used this before. I've got an expert one K. I've used this on on, uh, on sideband uh, with the linear. Fantastic. It's still you can still plug in the new linear from Icom uh, with this particular thing. It's like I said, it's an old radio, but it's still relevant today. Uh, it's still in manufacture, so everything works out. But. Uh, uh, yeah, what a fantastic piece of kit. Um, you just plug this lead in the back and you can move this edge unit anywhere. So, say you sat, you have it in your main shack and uh, you have a lead in your front room, you can just plug it in the front room and, and keep an eye on what's going on. Um, if you want to monitor two meters or, or, or the HF bands or D style, whatever, it, it, it's a fantastic piece of kit. And like I said, they're still they're still made today. Uh, you'd have to look on the internet uh, for your relevant country, um, how much they are in America or the UK, etc. So uh, yeah, um, that's all I can say about it. Really, uh, a fantastic little radio. Anyway, I hope you like uh, the video. A quick run over. Um, it's a Sunday afternoon in the UK. So I'm just passing a bit of time and making a video. Anyway, I hope you like the video. I'll send 73 for now. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It uh, helps uh, YouTube's algorithm. And please subscribe. Um, contrary to what a lot of people think, I am not monetized. I'm just doing this as a hobby. So uh, it takes up a couple of hours a week for me. And I'm just interested in it. And obviously, I like passing on the information to other radio users. So I'll send 7-3 for now, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. GZO DTX. Bye-bye.